every day that I wake up, I ask myself a basic question that I think we should all take some time to think about. Um, and that question is, what is the definition of prosperity? The true definition. Outside of the cars and the house, some people define it that way. Oh, how big my house is, how big my car is, how many friends do I have, how much money I have in the bank. I took some time in my life to really break that down and try to understand it and use examples of people who went through severe adversity to try to really define what this means. Um, and I came to the conclusion that prosperity is relative to everyone. Um, every culture, every people, um, every financial situation. Today I'm gonna talk about something called the theory of prosperity. And I have someone that I admired my whole life, Albert Einstein. Um, he was a genius, right? He could break some of the most fundamental things down that were intangible in the universe. So my theory of prosperity, I broke it down as prosperity equals pa pain times passion squared. I'm gonna start with prosperity. Love, happiness, caring, empathy. Some of these things that we can never hold, we can never touch, we can never witness on an advanced level unless we share it with someone else. But something that I feel like that we tend to forget because we get jaded by society and things that are going on with the people is that that love has to start with us and we have to give that to one another. I have an opportunity when I was growing up to get to know someone by the name of Jerry. Jerry was raised in the foster care system. Um, he suffered through abuse, home to home. He actually ended up being in over 40 different homes. Um, just going through intense, severe trauma, learning himself and trying to figure out what life really means. And it can get pretty traumatic. And a lot of times we don't, we can't put ourselves in the shoes of someone like that is in foster care. That's hard, you know. Empathy, trying to learn that. The pain that perpetuated success from that situation was passion to boost the situation. Passion squared. How do we address people on a daily basis? Like when you walk past someone, do you smile? Do you say hi? Do you address them as if it's your brother, your sister, your mother? Like how do you truly, truly address people on a daily basis? Like walking in a grocery store, if someone bumps into you a little bit, is it a, my apology or get out my way? This is something that I learned at a very young age that if we want to give this love, we have to try to receive it. And some people in their situations, it's hard. The adversity and the pain can't be translated into prosperity. It's too much. It's too hard. So let's talk about Jerry a little bit. The one thing about Jerry that I learned and I understand is that in his situation, in one particular moment I remember in his life, he was in the third grade and... His, um, his, foster member, his foster mother couldn't deal with him anymore, so she used to lock him in the basement from 3 p.m. to 12 o'clock at night. That was his routine. This was Jerry's life. Every day. He had to get through it. At age 12, he ended up moving into a shelter. That shelter took him in. He ended up moving into a group home. The group home, he asked one simple question. What is God? Not who is God, what is God? And this coming from a, a child that's 12 years old, a nun at the institution actually invested into this child and got them into a parochial school. So Jerry ended up getting a full scholarship. He ended up getting a full scholarship. He moved on. He ended up going to college. He went to college. He became freshman class president, full scholarship in school. And in one night, his whole life changed. 
the trauma that he experienced from all the things that, he, that happened to him when he was younger all collapsed. Jerry ended up doing five and a half years in prison. Changed his life. Talking to someone like Jerry and trying to understand, like, how do you overcome these adversities? And it's very simple. Every person that you address on a daily basis, give them love. If you're not giving love and you're not receiving it, you're always going to perceive place. You're going to perceive a dark place in your life, and it's just the facts. You're always going to be pessimistic opposed to optimistic. So Jerry is now in the latter part of his life. Getting a chance to know someone like this is incredible because you got to think about it. Today we're dealing with uh, one of the highest suicide rates that is known and media makes it very present. We need to take the energy from someone like a Jerry and translate it into inspiration. And this is something that we all should aspire for, but it's hard. It's hard to, to look people in the face every day that you know that you're not fully invested into and that's not a part of your natural life and give them love. It's hard. You know, you know when you're talking to your little brother, your little brother's going to stick around. You know when you talk to your mother, she's going to be there on Christmas. Everyone's not going to always be there for you, and that's okay. People do move on. People do different things. Let me give you a little brief background of what I do. I'm a music producer. I own Wave Lab Studios in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm currently working with Viacom, um, doing a lot of amazing things. I just did a project with Rock Nation. Blew my mind that these things were possible. I started producing music when I was 24, self-taught on the piano, engineering, and production. I'm 32 today. Learning these experiences from what happened with other people, we learn to reinvent ourselves. We recreate ourselves. We become better people. Not once should we look at someone else and say, you aren't, you're, you're beautiful. Like, I, you could see the beauty in someone's eyes when you talk to them, and it's outstanding. Pain, passion, prosperity. Passion, give the love, love myself. Times that by pain. Every single person that's here today has gone through something in their life. Something. Doesn't matter the degree. You translate that pain and you give an honest effort to give love and passion every day, you will be successful without a doubt. That is your prosperity. Because love translates into money. It turns into effort. It turns into motivation. When I, see, when I see someone smile, it makes me happy. When I see someone sad, I want to help them. This is something that I had to learn. I decided to reinvent myself when I was 24 because of all the things that I experienced, all the things in my personal life that I thought that I couldn't overcome. But today I know that it's possible with owning a recording studio, working for myself now for six and a half, seven years. I didn't think it was possible. I was honored to be published numerous times in this last year. Every week I'm pretty much in a different city learning and meeting different people. I was just in Chicago actually. Um, and I was in one of the most gang driven places in the city. And what they're trying to do in the city now is they're taking the at risk youth and they're trying to put them in the community centers and teach them a skill. So now I'm putting my time aside and I want to go help them. I want to build studios out there so they can find something and translate this pain into a passion. You got to turn the negative into a positive. Diamonds, gold, oil, water, pearls. The earth speaks to us. It tells us what the natural remedy of existence is. All these things exist because they're going through some sort of pressure. My birth name is Jerome William Joins. When I did live with my family, it was a very brief time. Um, I was probably about six months old when they took me from the hospital and moved me in with a friend of the family. And it was cool because I never had a chance to actually like see all my baby pictures, but when I started going through the photos and stuff like that, I realized that I did have a nickname. 
and it was cool. So, though I am Geronimo today, I was once Jerry. And that time has passed, and I'm so happy to be able to share my experiences with you and to give you the love that I wasn't given. I refuse to allow anything dark to ever diminish anything in my future, because yes, it was hard, and this is freedom to me. For me to be able to take my bad experiences and give it to you and hopefully inspire you to create something better is what fulfills my life. Because I can sit on the piano all day and give myself therapy and play and forget that the world exists, but with people taking themselves out too easily because they're going through a bad situation, it doesn't have to happen. You have to give the love. You have to translate that passion and pain into your prosperity. And I hope today what I spoke about inspired you. And have a beautiful day. <laughs>